Bob, he is not in the lineup this afternoon. The second straight game he will be missing. He is available to pinch hit, though, under the expectation that he'll be back out there tomorrow. Aaron Boone said the decision was actually made last night after, after a conversation with Judge. I asked Aaron Boone what was said during that conversation that led him to giving Aaron Judge another day off. Judge, he always wants to play. So, <laughs> um, but I, I think just me kind of talking through it with him and, you know, just saying I want to do one more day with it being a day game tomorrow, you know, still got the weekend ahead of us. And, and you know, <clears throat> as much as we want to be in there every single day and as much as possible, you know, my, my kind of message to him is I want you to be in there a ton throughout the season. I want you posting regularly all season long. And so I think he understands that. People see he's not in the lineup for the, the second straight day, fans in particular, and they automatically hit the panic button saying something must be wrong. So what would you say to, to fans to calm their nerves that Aaron Judge is indeed okay and he'll be back in there tomorrow? Yeah. Um, look, I'd say we're at the end of April here. And, you know, I know around Aaron and, and Giancarlo, there's always, you know, obviously a lot of talk and understandable. So they're, they're great players for us and great players in our sport. And, you know, have had their share of time missed the last couple of years. So, um, and both those guys have played a lot here already in the month of April and want to continue that um, and look forward to him being back in the lineup Friday night or if we need him in a big spot today. Like it is non-specific right now. So, um, you know, Aaron and I have a really good dialogue and conversation about things and are pretty honest and direct with each other. Um, when we get together, he and I, um, yeah, I mean, he is, he's as tough as they come and, and does always want to play and be there. Um, but I think he also understands more so than, than ever that, you know, this is about posting over the long haul. This is about being able to go to the post, whether it's 140, 45, 50 times, that's, that's what we're eyeing. And sometimes, especially in the month of April, where, you know, are, are probably the times at the season when, when guys do come up with nagging injuries because you're all of a sudden going into playing nine innings every single day and we're in the midst of this 13 in a row. Um, you know, I, I just think with a number of our guys, a number of our regulars, you know, <clears throat> even though it's tough on, on certain days, I think it's important to get them a day here and there. Aaron Judge has played in 21 of the 24 Yankees games this season with no judge in the lineup. Clint Frazier is back out there in right field. Gary Sanchez is back behind the plate. He'll be he'll be catching Jordan Montgomery, who has pitched pretty well so far this season, especially last time out against the Orioles. Probably his best start of the year. Six strong innings, seven strikeouts. And Montgomery actually has the fifth best chase percentage in the American League at 32.9 percent. I asked Aaron Boone how much. Montgomery has been able to get hitters to expand the zone. His secondary stuff is special. I mean, he's got a great changeup and a great breaking ball. Um, and again, I, I think it starts though with commanding his fastball. And and when he's when he's dictating counts, when he's ahead in the count, um, both his changeup and his curveball are chase pitches. And I think when you couple that with the fact that his fastball, I think, plays better last year and even more so this year, whether it be his sinker that he uses, whether it be the four seam that he can pitch up with, whether it's the cut fastball, those are all better pitches for him than they were probably a few years ago. The key for him is is obviously throwing strikes, getting ahead, and when he's dictating counts, that's usually when he gets a lot of swing and miss on his secondary. Keeping it with pitching, lefty Wandy Peralta has been added to the roster to make room. Michael King was optioned to the alternate side, and that's just really a matter of a roster crunch. King has pitched extremely well to start the season when he has been up here, 11 scoreless innings. And the words of Aaron Boone, he has been awesome. He is a much better pitcher right now than he was a year ago, six months ago, three months ago, even a month ago. They've really liked what they've seen from King. Unfortunately, he's one of those guys with options left, so it seems as though he 
He will be shuttling back and forth, but they've used him in multiple roles this season. His confidence continues to grow, and you will see him again on this roster this season. Also noteworthy on the injury front, Luke Voigt is expected to face live pitching for the first time today since having knee surgery. Aaron Boone said no exact timeline exactly when he will be back here uh, with the team. However, he would like to see him play in a couple games before he gets back here, get his endurance up a little bit. But the knee has been good. Uh, he has been bouncing back well so far, so they're pretty encouraged with Voigt. And Zach Britton was actually here at Yankee Stadium earlier, throwing at 120 feet. Again, he's not eligible to come off until the end of May, so they're bringing him along slowly, but everything has been going well with Britton.